Please have a seat. <laughs> On behalf of every team of the we say thank you for attending this ceremony. Your presence here makes this special day even more special. So to begin the ceremony, I have a question to ask. And the question I have is, who is it that gives this amazing woman away? Her mother and I. Because today you're able to stand before God, <coughs> before family, before friends, and before each other, and confess the love that you have for one another. I'm certain that this confession of love has come with a great deal of prayer. So today, we get to invite God's blessing into this union. God has ordained the bond of marriage. The book of Genesis explains how God created man from the dust of the ground, that he breathed life into man. But quickly God saw that it was not good for man to be alone. He saw that man was not complete. It was then that he created a woman. God removed one of Adam's ribs out of, Adam, out of man's side. He created a woman. She came from his side so she could stand alongside him. Not to be ruled by him, but to complete him. She came from his rib, which is below the head so that man would provide a covering for her. She came from the rib, which is near the arm, so that man would protect her. She came from the rib, which is near the heart, so that man would love her. You see, the union of man and woman was ordained by God at the time of creation. Not only does marriage define the completion process, but it also signifies the love that one can find for another. In the New Testament book of 1 Corinthians, love is defined as being willing to sacrifice self to meet the needs of another. It says love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrong, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, it always trusts, it always hopes, it always perseveres. Love never fails. In the New Testament, the greatest example of love is when Jesus Christ died on the cross. He died for you, Remington, and he died for you, Karina. Christ died for one and for all. But we were all in need of a savior, and Jesus met that need. The marriage relationship signifies the relationship between Christ and his church, his bride. For Christ loved the church. He died for the church. This kind of love is what the Bible speaks of. It's not a sentimental, emotional type love, but it's a commitment. And it's a commitment that shall last. Now, Remington, Christ died for you. You now will have the same opportunity to die for your wife. Though Christ gave his physical life, you will be able to die on a daily basis to selfish human desires. Each day, you'll be able to look at your wife and realize what a blessing she is from the Lord. Each day, you will be able to die to your selfishness, to pride, to anger, and to lust. You see, by putting her first, by meeting her needs, by loving her, by protecting her, by honoring her, you will fulfill the purpose of marriage in the eyes of your creator. The love that you express will be a daily reminder of the commitment that Christ has made to you and to his church. Karina, as you enter into this holy covenant, understand that you are committing to be the wife of Remington. The, the book of Psalms tells us a wife of noble characters worth far more than rubies. You get the head, that's okay. <laughs> You need to stand firm in the love that you have. Don't let the outside world dictate how you fulfill this commitment. 
First Peter chapter three says, "Your beauty shall not come from outward adornment; instead, it should be that of your inner selves. The unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in the eyes of God." So, your desire should be to bring your husband good, not harm. To see that he is fully confident in you and the commitment that you two are making today. As you walk through life, as you walk through this together, don't fall to the theory that marriage is 50-50. It's not. It will take 100% of each of you each day. Remington, what you're saying is that you plan on spending the rest of your life as the husband of Korean. And Karina, what you are saying is that you plan on spending the rest of your life as the wife of Remington. As a pastor, joining in that confession is just a joy. Uh, seeing two people who God has created, who God loves, seeing them come together to express their love for one another is, is a true joy. So, if the two of you believe this to be the will of God, you're already ahead of me again. I'm going to ask you to join right hands. <laughs> As you face each other, join hands. <laughs> do you promise to cleave only unto her, leaving all others to be to her in all things a true and faithful husband, as long as life shall last? I do. Remington, do you commit to her happiness and to encourage her Christian growth, and in doing so, take Korea to be a lawfully wedded wife, as long as you both shall live? Karina, do you, before God and the witnesses present here, promise to love and to cherish in sickness and in health, in prosperity and adversity, the man whose hand you hold. Karina, do you promise to cleave only unto him, leaving all others, and to be to him in all things a true and faithful wife as long as life shall last? Karina, do you commit to his happiness and to encourage his Christian growth? In doing so, take Remington to be your lawfully wedded husband as long as you both shall live. everybody that comes in contact with you. And um, I believe it's because of the Lord. You know, mighty work in your life. Genuine faith that you have. And that Kira has. And uh, I love you with my whole heart. I love both of you. And I'm excited to start this journey. And I'm 
grateful for the journey that we've been on. And I've never been more sure about anything in my whole life. And I want to give my whole heart to you, my life. I want to, and I wrote this. Karina, I promise to put you second only to God. The goal of my life is to bring you closer to Him. I promise to always be willing to reconcile. To always forgive. And have grace and mercy in time of need. To protect and provide for our family. And to be a father to care of. I declare these things by the power of Jesus, our Savior and our God. how precious the marriage covenant is to him. From this day forward, other than your relationship with Christ, let these rings be a constant reminder that nothing else can be of more value to you than this marriage. Remington, will you please place the ring on Karina's finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. I promise to love and to cherish you. I promise to love and to cherish you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. In prosperity and adversity. In prosperity and adversity. Will you please place that ring on Remington's finger and in so doing, repeat after me. With this ring, I be wed. I promise to love and to cherish you. In sickness and in health. In prosperity and adversity. Now, once they have committed to their vows, once they have exchanged rings, Remington and Corita have decided the first thing they want to do is to take communion together. They want to honor the Lord Jesus Christ. In the Bible, it says the strongest cord is a three-strand cord. The strongest marriage is a three-strand marriage, meaning husband, wife, and the Lord Jesus. So by taking communion, what communion is, this symbolizes the blood in Christ of Jesus Christ. This is Jesus hanging on the cross and shedding his innocent blood for our guilt. The communion time is a time to come before the Lord and to understand that your heart needs to be right and that your focus needs to be on him. And as a couple coming together, let me say this is an honor and a privilege to, to have this as the first act that you take as a husband and wife. Now communion, the Lord Jesus, scripture tells them uh, with communion, the Lord Jesus on the night that he was betrayed took bread. Thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. This body representing the blood of Christ. Would you please take this in remembrance of him? In the same way up to supper, Jesus took the cup, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Yeah. Would you please bow your head and pray with me? Father God, we thank you for bringing Remington and Karina together to be joined as one. Let this day be the start of many days of blessing upon their household. It is 
It's our prayer today that your peace and your love shall rule their household. And your grace and mercy shall sustain them during times of trials. That your knowledge and wisdom shall guide them during times of decisions. We pray these things in your son's precious name. Amen. Amen. Hang on. <laughs> Rendered to created by the authority given to me by the Lord Jesus Christ, the Master, and by the authority vested me as a minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> So how did you like the wedding? Was it good? Was it good? What do you think? Your mommy is married now. Is that cool? So beautiful, yeah. This, this was a beautiful wedding. I, I, I actually have a copy of the wedding because I want to use this, um, the, what he wrote. He said I could. 
past who said I could use it. So, yeah, it was beautiful. It's a beautiful day and a beautiful home to have a wedding in. Yeah. And Karina was so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Yes, that beautiful letter she wrote. Uh, you know, I just couldn't keep my eyes dry. It was all just so perfect. And, um, and yeah, it was way too much dust. I had the same problem. Well, thank you so much, and uh, God bless you both. Hi, guys. Wasn't this a beautiful wedding? Yeah. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. Did you just get here because a lot of people just got here? Yeah. Did you yeah. drive up for this morning from uh, Gallup? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I did. Yesterday. Okay. Praise God. Isn't it wonderful? Your this marriage is so beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, don't go too far. Yeah, don't leave us too far. Yeah. Yeah. Really love her. Oh yeah, you'll have to come visit all the time now. Yeah. So, um, what do you guys? Do you guys? Where do you work at? Okay, that's fine. Yes. You work at um, coming to weddings and uh, yeah, yeah. Our first, yeah. Dr driving from. That's right. She's already married. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Hi, there, guys. daughter. Hi. Praise God. What's happening, man? What's happening, man? What's happening? You're married now.
There she is. What do you think of the wedding? Um, I like it. I love it, and I was I'm glad to be here with the with my daughter in Remington. They showed me around Phoenix, so I haven't been here for that long. I mean, like I think back in '98 I was here with the school, but and it grew. But I'm glad I I know where the Korea and the Remington lives at right now too. So they have a good place to go. So think. I mean, it's going to be my second home. <laughs> I'd love to go visit with them. Yeah, you'll have to. Yeah. Yeah, so I'd go see my grandkids. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. And it was up in a nice wedding and everything, everything just fell in place. And, but uh, it was a little bit restless night, but I made it. And everything's all good. And I'm glad that my family all came down. So that's, that's the main thing about it, to be here for Karina and Remington for the wedding. <laughs> Beautiful. Wonderful. Short, sweet, and the atmosphere was beautiful. The venue was beautiful. How do you feel about the wedding? How was it? I don't like what can I get any difference at all. The sun is bright, bright cloudy. Okay, fine. Are you happy about the wedding? Are you happy about the wedding? Am I happy about the wedding? Uh, well, the wedding is questionable, but I'll agree with this one. <laughs> Most of them worked out pretty good. I, I think this one will. I put my blessing on it. Most every time. All the time. Didn't work at mine. I'm Remington's uncle. That's my dad. That's my sister. <laughs> What's your name? Mark. How do you feel about the wedding? Oh, I love it. It was very, very beautiful. And the food is phenomenal. The view and the whole setting was phenomenal.
couple. And so uh, we want to congratulate them. And you know, the thing that I think of is the beginning of Jesus' ministry yeah. was wedding. And uh, so that goes to show the importance that Jesus himself placed on the marriage and the wedding uh, feast. And so in view of that, since uh, Jesus uh, um, participated in the wedding and uh, actually really made it a great wedding with some uh, special wine, yeah. uh, we want to toast uh, Remington and Karina, Mr. and Mrs. Stanley. Congratulations. God bless you in your life together. Thank you. Thank you. Touching. Yes. Oh, beautiful words. Beautiful words. Yeah. And what do you think about your cleaning up? That's so nice of you. What do you feel about the wedding? Oh, I loved it. I got a new son-in-law, so I'm happy with her, him and Karina. So uh, it was a nice wedding. Lovely. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Is Karina your cousin? Uh, no, she's, uh, she's uh, this is uh, her aunt, Karina's aunt. Uh, came a long way also. Uh, yeah, we kind of right now. Okay, thank you. Huh? Hello. Hello. Beautiful truck, Remington. Beautiful Remember, truck. I know. When you when you hit the trail, dirt trail. Hey, this is Pastor Jumpin' Bill, guys. Okay. <laughs> he is awesome. He's amazing. He Publish. plays music. He writes his own music. He does his own YouTube show. And uh, I wish we had a guitar right now. That's Pastor Will right there. 
So God bless you both. Thanks for being there. Thank you as well. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, my brother, Bam. Master Will. Skateboarding the nation. Skateboarding dinosaurs. <laughs> One, two. Praise God. Amen. This will be the credits. <laughs> bye bye. God bless you in Jesus' name. Adios, amigos. <laughs> bye.
do you think? Is this good? Was this a good wedding? Good wedding, good wedding. Good wedding. There they go. Okay, thanks everybody. God bless you. Such a good dancer. You're a good dancer too, buddy.